Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I just saved you guys a whole heck of a lot of time, uh, <laughs> because I'm trying to, we're doing the castle, and for some stupid reason, I wanted to paint my armor the winterized color, because I, I like it. It doesn't look great, but I just like it for whatever, don't ask me why. I just like it. It's as simple as that. And so I was trying to paint it, and I ran out of aluminum. Okay, but I wasn't paying attention because I also ran out of adhesive. So I spent like six minutes of the video getting aluminum from the other, um, from my other locations, other work benches. And then I get back here and I realize I need adhesive. Well, none of those other work benches had adhesive. None of them. So I had to go to Diamond City and I had to wait like a total of like nine days to get the, the adhesive I needed. Okay, this crap was ridiculous. But there it is, we finally got it all painted. I was missing one color and it was driving my OCD crazy. I was missing one that wasn't painted, and I'm not even OCD, but I but that's just annoying. Like I can't I can't deal with that. With having my whole armor painted one color except the left leg or whatever it was. Okay, so we are gonna go to the castle. We gotta get there. So we are gonna actually come to Trinity Tower and head down. Actually, let me go. Yeah, let's go Trinity Tower. Uh, maybe in the next episode we'll go to uh, the uh, the combat zone and we'll get Kate, and then I'll uh, I'll send. I, I probably won't use Kate. Oh my gosh, like mid yawned, I like half yawned, but I was still talking, so I, like cut it off. But I probably won't use Kate, but I'll send her back to Red Rocket at least uh, because I do like Kate. But I don't know if I'm using Garvey, then I'm probably not using Kate. And then I might end up using dog meat more than I, more than uh, more than I anticipated. Dog meat's not that great of a companion, but I just like it because he's a dog and I love dogs. But I don't think I think this should be an easy trip down to the castle. I could be wrong, but I think it is. I'm wondering how fast you complete this game. I I kind of want to look up a speed run just to see because what if you just skip all this other bogus BS that I'm doing that you don't have to do. I bet you could complete this in like six or eight hours, probably six or eight. Okay, we we need to go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're all there. Leave me alone. So we need to we need to remember. I don't even think I'll get to level thirty, but we might. Okay, okay. Let's just go. Yeah. F off. Alright. It's just frolic. I can't even frolic because I have no action points. Almost consider leveling up my <laughs> endurance more because this is ridiculous. I feel like for a let's play you need to have higher than normal... Higher than normal... Um, Oh, what am I trying to say? Higher than normal endurance because no one wants to see you just slowly traversing the... What is this? You gonna give me the point? There it is. Hester Consumers Robotics. Okay, let's jump over that. Oh my gosh, I can't... Hate these stupid bugs. Oh my gosh, there's water. Here we go, time to sink into the water. And slowly walk our way over. Note I forgot, I think I did pass it and I just never got it. I think I passed that area where the where the uh, power armor is sunk in the lake. That is annoying because you got to do this to get it out. You got to walk slowly across the terrain. Gosh, I hate it so much. How slow it is. I, w I wonder. I never even like checked, but it, it, it'd be interesting to know. Oh my gosh, we got ghouls. Okay, I leveled up, but I'm I'm not looking. Oh gosh. Disarm it! Why can't I disarm it? 
fine, I guess I gotta go around, it won't disarm it. What sounds- oh my gosh, it's a suicider. Oh my gosh, get away from the truck! I don't not- I don't want a war against everybody, I just want to get to- oh my gosh, more water. Okay. Dun dun dun. Oh crap. Oh, uh, this is bad. This is really bad. I thought I could get up on that pier when I actually can't. I need to get my radiation down. Because with me chilling in this water for as long... Okay, okay. We're here now. Can I... I can't get on this rock. I just want to get on this rock. Okay, let me come over here where there's actually ground that I can get up on. Can I... There we go! We got it! Got it! Got him, coach! Now, where... Where are my homies? They're in this building right here, I think. Okay, you want to take all this stuff, first of all. Hi. Good to see you, General. Everyone's here. Alright, Garvey. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the many men always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, you could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side, and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Let's hit them from both sides. They will know what hit them. We'll split up, and you can join whichever side you think needs the extra support. All right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. Try not to draw their attention until we're in position. Alright. This is really everybody. It's a four-person assault. We're assaulting a castle with four people. Six, I guess, if you include Piper. I'm gonna go around the back with Preston, I think. Which hole does he... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was about to say which hole does he come in. Which area does he attack from? There. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Can we go? Come on. Come on. Charge. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm... Am I doing this on my own? Okay. Here we go. Let's go. Kill the eggs. I hate these Meyer lurks so much. I'm gonna need to go visit Arturo after this and get more ammo for this OP SMG. Oh my gosh, they're behind me! <gasps> that was creepy. All of a sudden I heard... I heard them behind me. Yeah, you're dead before you could even get out of your little hole. Is there any more coming behind me? Nope. Okay, we gotta kill all these what the hell eggs. Is that? I wish we could have assaulted this during the daytime, not the night. Okay, 
Okay, where's where's Mama Meyer Alert? Yeah, yeah, where is she? Doesn't she come up over there? Is she coming up on a new side? Where is she? There she is. Take that sneak attack critical. Okay, this isn't bad. This damage is not bad. And she's not even focused on me. Hold on, I want to see what this thing does, damage-wise. Oh, the reamage! That thing just reams! But I want to conserve some ammo, so... It's not bad damage with this. And it saves me ammo with my uh, OP gun. Oh, you little shit. Bitch! Oh, give me that EXP. Oh my gosh, these stupid little... Stupid little mole fuckers, dude. I want her loot. Give me her loot. Can't hit its tor- Fine, I'll shoot a shell. There we go, I got you, homie. Where- who am I supposed to- where's Garvey? Who am I supposed to talk to? Garvey. Excuse me. Let's focus on getting the radio fixed for right now. This looks like a powerful right. transmitter. Good work, people. But we aren't- Excellent. Okay, hold on. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% critical damage. The general and I are gonna have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of you, clear out any remaining Myrlurks or eggs you find. Yeah, I think I already yeah, I already did that for you guys. Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Okay, so I need to create if there's anything left of the old transmitter. Got to create some generate. What is going on, dude? Why won't it let me manage to take that thing down? Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. I'm going to go see what else is left around this old place. Yeah, I'm gonna put these two generators right here. Okay, so now I wanna have. I do have enough to just do a crazy power pile on here. Now let me let me get this power pile on. No, I don't want to store it. You know what? I kind of want. Hold on. Let me store this wire. I can. It won't let me select the wire. What's going on? Store the wire. Okay. I want to put this up here so that these can connect up there, and then it's one singular wire running to here. Now the question is, how does that look? Is it too low? That'd be too low. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Move this over here. Does that work? There we go. Doesn't look the greatest, but it works. Seems to be in working order. So, Preston, are we good? Hey there. Wow, we really did it. I've been watching the men and men fall to pieces for so long, I just... This is really something. Now we've got to pay off on what we've started. Bring the whole Commonwealth together and make it last this time. So, you know, back to business. But with Radio Freedom up and running, we can broadcast alerts to you anywhere, anytime. Okay, completed. Taking independence. I've got another trouble spot for you to check out. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. 
Okay, so we're we got the beacon quest. Now, how much do I have left of this stuff? Why can't I build this? Building something that re What are you talking about? I want to let me build any What is going on, dude? Why won't it let me build this? I am so confused. Why won't it let me build a generator? Build something that requires power. Really? I have to build something that requires power first. Are you actually going to work the way I want you to? Or are you going to... I don't have the steel. To set up. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead. Head to Starlight Drive-In. And we'll do this, and then that'll be the end of this episode. We'll do the Castle and Starlight Drive-In. Both Minutemen-related stuff in this episode. And then who knows what the next episode entails. I'm not sure yet. Actually really enjoying this, though. The last little bit of Fallout I've been playing this last, like, uh... I don't know, like five or six episodes. Been really enjoying this. Having a lot of fun with Fallout since I got my gun. When I get that alien blaster, it's going to be so much better. And then when I get, uh, I get, uh, the, the, the Lorenzo's artifact, it'll be even better than that. Okay, here we go. Starlight Drive-In. What I want to do here... So I want to sneak into the back door here. Now, I want to sleep so it's daytime because this whole night crap is annoying. Okay, there's no... I thought there was a bed in here. Fine, I'll sit on the couch and wait. 2 a.m. So let's wait 6 hours to 8 a.m. Hopefully, it'll probably... I'll probably do this, sit down, and wait for the daytime, and then it'll be raining outside. I'm close to being able to just guarantee that. I don't know why I like the winterized power armor. Or the look of it. I don't really know. There's... Alright, let's go. Where, where are my red? Oh my gosh. My mole rats. Gosh, you guys are some slight work. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of maneuver my way around here. Try and get them to pop out of their holes. Okay, I'm just gonna run around the drive-in here for a second. Try to get them to come out. What is she hi- Oh, okay. Okay. So what you want to do first at this drive-in? Uh, I have to go hit up the workbench. It's over here. <laughs> okay, those are the best. Duct tape and- oh, duct tape, yes. Okay. Okay, so first of all, when you get the Starlight Drive, then what you want to do is you want to come down here and you want to get all these barrels out of the water and it will stop this from being irradiated water. There it should be. Yeah, it's not irradiated anymore. You can see I'm not getting any more red, so that's good. Uh, we got to create this beacon. And there's only one place that I really like to put this. Oh my gosh. It's right up here. Okay, so we want to get the radio beacon. Set that up right there. And... We want to get the generator. Oops. Did not mean to back out. No, wait. It was on. There we go. 
talk to Preston. So let's go talk to Preston Garvey. And that should end this up. He's back in Sanctuary. He doesn't stay at the castle. Is this really like a... Is this really something you can find? Can you find magazines that give you new hairstyles? Because that'd be awesome. Though that hairstyle is ugly as all hell, that would be... That would be awesome if you could find new hairstyles. I'd be pretty excited about that. Since I'm all about the fashion fallout. Why is it like not... <laughs> they come back around to the front? Oh, good. Preston is right you here. Why? Since we talked. Shut up, Bolt Tech. Rep. Me to and Look set up a radio beacon there. Here That's in great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, the they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual, I have something else for you to look into. A pack of ghouls has holed up near a settlement. They could use our help. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. All right. So ghoul problem at Ten Pines Bluff. Uh, that is going to do it, though, for this episode, guys. Uh, we cleared out the castle and Starlight Drive-In. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Fallout. Peace out.